You know, the most important part I did not, I failed to mention the most important part in, in a video, Bo. Uh, the most important part, what's the most important part about this, my interaction in Belgrade during MK Ultra as a baby, as a three, four month old baby. The most important part, the most meaningful part about my interaction in Belgrade as a baby. Let me demonstrate you what that looked like in Belgrade one more time so that you get to see this here. The most important part as a baby for me. The most important part as a baby for me. Do you see the baby right there? That was me in Belgrade like this or maybe even less I don't know what age this is the most important part that I missed to mention in a bow video and that's why I am making it up for you now I have to make up this stuff is that make it up for it yeah not makeup I'm not making shit here the most important part is I remember clearly the transition, the transition of the brain. Between having the ability to even understand my surroundings. That's how early this goes. It goes into the time when you as a baby would become like aware about that you are actually inside inside the room with you know other people in it in transition between the ability to not only be in a position of basically literally into transition of communicating having the ability to communicate with other babies do you understand what i'm saying when you're when you you're like you become aware of yourself that you actually exist like in a sense of having the ability to communicate with babies that's how far this belgrade stuff goes it goes it goes into my being a baby in a diapers it goes into my being yeah in the room with the people my being aware that i'm inside of the room with the people with other babies and literally having the ability to communicate with these babies through whatever play through I was uh, stimulated, I was It's kind of difficult to explain because when you're a baby you are just not completely aware of you know you're not completely aware of yourself you're you're just you're um,
not going to say aware of yourself, but the expectations, I should say, the expectations of how you're going to interact with the children. Yeah, it goes to the time when I would correspond to requirements of uh, awareness of being in a certain in a certain place, in a certain room, of, was expected of me to correspond to requirements expected, to expectations basically of grown ups to with a baby that was basically in front of me. I'm talking about babies from Africa, talking about the babies from Soviet Union, talking about babies from Asia and so on. So, literally answering requests, I should say. Yeah, requests to interact with the baby in a certain way that is in front of you. Basically perform perform certain function, which I would even estimate At maximum, maybe it's in the terms of months, there was maybe two months of a difference between my becoming aware of my surroundings in my developing the ability to shortly uh, literally correspond, uh, interact with the babies in a desired uh, manner with desired outcome. Uh, is tutored basically to do. In a diapers barely holding myself I'm not gonna say barely holding myself is not true but literally sitting and holding myself basically not to fall down literally not to roll over whatever with other baby in front of me doing about exactly the same thing That's when they started to teach us the about two months after becoming aware of something like that. From what I recall my father, that will be a time frame between one month to two months when you should be uh, it was expected to already uh, my father did this stuff really good, actually. I'm thinking about this stuff uh, because he was talking to me about this stuff all the time. Uh, they were all the time evaluating me about when did I started to feel aware about things, certain things, and uh, when I was expected to already... Uh, certain abilities they would develop what was the time frame I think it was between one month and two months after you become aware 
that you should be interacting with other babies, communicated with them quite successfully so, uh, with a science, whatever, cry, whatever, whatever, uh, but in a desired manner. And my, what my father would do is he would keep he would he would tell me so many and so many days you did this and as months he was talking to me about this stuff and he kept talking and talking and talking and talking about this even as the years would start to go by saying to me now this and this and this is start to walk you learn to walk and he was do you he was actually was talking to me like in a such a way do you remember when we went through that stage when we were doing this and this and this and that so he trained my memory he very successfully for me to recall uh events from the past and had the ability to somewhat quite successfully i see now transfer them uh into memory basically blueprint them about these issues this was quite beneficial. My father did knew quite a lot about this, uh, quite a lot. He this, this was a team of physicians, doctors from whom he got the instructions exactly on how to do these things. And he did follow up diligently through that stuff, through the early, earliest childhood. My father did that kind of stuff during my childhood. It was not just, just something like that. It's just, uh, you know, they used, they used him. They did the stuff like this. They used me. This is the way it was. My father, I'm sure, did not have bad intentions. But, uh, you know, uh, Belgrade is a Belgrade. Ljubljana is Ljubljana. There are animals in Belgrade. And maybe we have a much bigger animals here in Slovenia. I, I think we have a bigger animals in Slovenia than we, they have in Moscow and in Belgrade. And it's like a total animals. I think we have a total animals right here in Dublin. I think we have more animals here than they have anywhere in the world. And we have worse people here than in Korea or in Iran or in any other country in the world. And we have a total animals here without absolutely any fucking conscience, anything whatsoever. That's why I know about this stuff. That's why I know. I know that in Belgrade, when I was in Belgrade, I started to interconnect, connect with the babies with you know, communicate with the babies. This goes in a very, 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 very early, early stage, baby stage. Might have been well as mine, three, four months of age. I was a baby in a diapers and spent some time in diapers. Obviously, they were busy changing diapers too and stuff. Like, you know, is the case with the babies, just the way it is. It was not on a, uh, um, you know, on a regular basis like it became. It was here and there. I don't think it was on a frequent basis. I don't know how often this was. I was told not so often uh, that uh, at that age she would travel to Belgrade. But the memory about where I was, where they had me in Belgrade and stuff, you know, it keeps going into into this into this space with these people. With you know, how the fuck I got into the crypts like a baby in Belgrade? How the fuck that happened? I mean, if that was not the case with other babies, you know, they will be doing all kinds of stuff. And you know, part of the placing us inside of the crypts and stuff like this, you know, with a baby placing inside of the grip, that's a, that's a grip, that's a small baby. That's a really, really small baby. So, you know, this is not imagination. This is more than imagination. You don't, you don't, you don't just like this, placing a grip next to uh, other babies in a diapers, dude. They do this shit inside of the hospital almost with the fucking newborns. This isn't this isn't when you are one year old one year of age. This isn't when you are two years old. This is not even when you are nine months old. The stuff I'm talking about, this is six months old or less. I'm talking about having basically pants 
I'm talking about the diapers only. I'm not even talking about being, uh, you know, dressed up and stuff like this. You do the stuff like this with the babies, basically. That's why I was talking to you in a previous video about Indian people, about the Buddhists, about how they dressed up and stuff like how I, I was thinking about this stuff. Even when I grew up, I was thinking about this stuff. Where the fuck is this in my head? Why is it that I feel so at home in a way? Why was it that I feel so, uh, you know, it's fucking strange. We see these uncles wearing this kind of stuff and, you know, you know uh, maybe you would love to make fun of them, but you, for some reason, you, you cannot even make fun of them because it feels to you like too much fucking, you know, you're being at home over there, basically. Asking yourself, actually, if you're really you and maybe where you're coming from, that maybe somebody didn't dip you from where you are at and took you to the country where you're coming from. This is very strange stuff, but and you won't, even when you grow up, you won't even figure out anymore because if you go through the stuff they do to you like they did to me, I didn't even figure out anymore about this shit. So much stuff was inside of this. So much congested this MK Ultra was with the stress, with the trauma, with the stuff they did. Okay, so do I know, do I remember this stuff? Yes, I remember it. This is the way it was. This is the way it was from the little one, from, from, from so fucking little that I had a difficulty to even hold myself on my ass sitting in front of other babies that I was required to connect with, basically communicate with, interconnect with, and it would not go for very long time, even sometimes I know that it would not go for very long time, because uh, I was told you cannot last even for too long. It won't, it won't, you won't be have a capacity to communicate for too long. But the thing is that I was actually, I remember when I was angry, because I could last longer, I could last longer, and they had more babies, and... You know, it was turned for one baby and then it was turned for another baby. They were they were switching the babies. No, that's how far the fuck this shit goes. Imagine this. There were two things. One was an MK Ultra and the other one was not MK Ultra. Um, My father was again of a great help to me with issue of MK Ultra and not MK Ultra, which they were trying, they lied afterwards and were trying to confuse me with that stuff. The MK Ultra started 100% for certainly, it started at six months of age. But I think it actually started at four months of age because they have arguments, because they argued, because they had fight, because I remember the physicians who were lying to me and they told me we will try this. And they were lying to me for good reason, because they knew how the, the psychiatrists lied to do this stuff. The physicians lied so that I, in a such a way so that I would even remember. And it was one liar, Slovenian, who was very successful at it and was saying to me, the same like my father, uh, do you remember when we did this? Okay, now we're going to do MK Ultra. The problem is between the MK Ultra and non MK Ultra. So this is how you will know that as a baby, I was subjected to MK Ultra. Is that you you don't have a, you don't have a cellular phone and go and call. Hey, this is nine one one. Can you can you send me a police here? Uh, they're doing this to me. Or hey, Dad, please, would you not mind do that? Even if you could do this stuff. There is no fucking way anybody would listen to you. You can protest all the fuck you want. Do you remember when you were a baby? And what happens? They, they do this to you. You know, they disregard you. And if you're not quiet, they do this to you. 
or maybe even some punishment or some shit. This is the way it goes, right? So this is the way it went in my case. So what was the difference between MK Ultra and non MK Ultra in my case is I was baby. Well, I was told not only by father but also by the physician. He would say, "We already did this." They they refer to that as "We already did that." Ah. Uh, very often times they would do this kind of operation even during MK Ultra to confuse, to lie about the issues, to to instigate, to insult, to hurt, literally, deliberately. Uh, while on other occasions, when there will be no MK Ultra, they would interact with me like referring straight to MK Ultra, like completely directly without absolutely any kind of obstacles so you do feel a very big difference Norwegian liars lied about how uh, in Bergen when I was that really sucked that really sucked when I filed for political asylum in 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 Norway in 2010 it was so poor such a poor poor stuff went on in that hostel with these people uh, insisting me even that as a baby that you don't know about during MK Ultra Scandinavians insisted that there is no difference between for the baby between MK Ultra and non MK Ultra uh, it is if you're a Scandinavian it's a difference but if you're not Scandinavian then there is no fucking difference for one thing I'm gonna say to you because that's a blatant racism you know, motherfucker, that if your psychiatrist, psychologist, or you play with it, you know you're fucking lying. So why the fuck are you lying to somebody like myself? You feel the difference. It's a big difference between MK Ultra and non MK Ultra, and that also what makes me think about what these people groomed me for. When you do the stuff like this, when you interact with a baby like this in a such a way like this, you making the perception between MK Ultra and non MK Ultra, you equal one already. During the earliest fucking childhood, you know what I mean? The fucking physician doctor who was saying was a fucking liar. The same system that was used afterwards, like throughout my life. This shit really started at four months, if not earlier, at three months. It, it would all be like, we did it once, do you remember? We're going to do it again, remember? The shit is that they were doing it very often. They didn't do it all the time, but they did this very, very, very often. Maybe 50-50, maybe 50% 50 they did this and 50% was real life. They did a whole a lot of this stuff. They did too much of this shit. A whole a lot they did, yes, but it's not the same, for one thing. Uh, and the second thing is, when I was like six months old, they would tell you, oh, uh, we, gonna, we will do now this kind of stuff. We did it once. It's, they wouldn't say, you remember how many times we did that already, come on, let's do it. But we did it once or we did it twice. And then when I was nine months old, the fucking doctor again said, we did it. We already did this before. Oh, yeah. You remember? We did that once, twice. Hey, 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 hey. And that's how they did this shit all the time. And even successfully blocked me from investigating prior to departure to the United States of America what the fuck went on with this MK Ultra. So, this is what I am talking about. I go in a time when I became actually aware of myself, my being aware of myself, and then time when I had, during MK Ultra, when I actually interacted, the ability to interact with, just like I explained to you, with other babies, with, by basically sitting and doing this. From the beginning when it all started, if this shit went on, it was like five minutes, ten minutes, five minutes, I think it was a lot with two babies to interact, something in that sense. 
And then they were changing this, switching us. I remember all that stuff that went on. That's how far the fuck I go. I'll tell you how this stuff went and when it went. When I was one year old, I was already fucking veteran. I was already old man in terms of MKUltra. 